How do I tell which websites are good to use for college level research? This short video will help answer that question. Because anyone can present information through the World Wide Web, internet users must be cautious when interacting with such information. Fortunately, there are criteria that one can apply in determining website credibility. Anytime you're looking at a website, remember to rats read all the screen. You can find out a lot about a website and who created it by reading all the small print gobbledygook at the bottom of the screen and the stuff on the extreme left and right margins as well as across the top of the page. So don't leave them out. Remember to rats. Now, on to the criteria you need to consider when evaluating a website. Accuracy. Is the website free of grammatical or spelling errors? Can you verify any of the information in external sources? Author. Is the name of the author or creator on the page? This information might be located at the bottom of the page. It could be under a link that says About Us. Is the author or creator qualified to write on the given topic? Click on their name and find out who they are. Is the contact information somewhere on the page? Is there a link? to a home page or a Facebook page. Currency, and I'm not talking dollars here. Is there any indication of a website update? If so, when was the information last updated? Links, are all the links current? Do they work? Are they relevant and useful to the purpose of the site? Objectivity, this is a big one. Is the information in the website fact, opinion, or propaganda? Is the author being objective, highly emotional, or biased? Purpose. Is the purpose of the website to teach, to persuade, or to sell a product? Who is the intended audience? Reliability. Is the website that of a state or federal agency? Is there a .gov at the end of the web address? A nonprofit organization? .org. Lots of times these are museums, churches, um, political organizations, Democratic Party, the Republican Party, the Green Party, a college or university, .edu, or a business, .com. .coms exist to try to sell you something. Keep that in mind. If you need further help evaluating a website to use in a, your research project, Ask your instructor or ask a librarian. We're here to help.